Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Several months ago I showed you how we did the foundation here, right here. Well, we're back for stage two. Now, stage two involves placing a drip screech above this lead flashing, and then what we're going to do is paper here and come underneath the existing paper. As we do the paper and wire, I'll show you, we're just, like many of my other videos, we're just going to place the paper over the drip screech and underneath the existing paper here. Then we're going to scratch and brown this to match this finish. Later on, a month or two from now, we're going to apply a, a, a color over that. So when, when we get this all done here with the flashings, and this goes around. It's an odd detail, but um, this is living space underneath here. We are in Alameda, which is uh, rare to, to pass the water table here, but uh, to do it right, you can do it. It's a lot of work. I'm just doing the stuff that work, but to, to dig all this out and to create living space underneath the water table, you really got to know what you're doing. Tom Carroll did that. Uh, him and his crew come in and they they brought their tractors and they dug out this whole unit. Uh, great work with those guys. They're also located in Alameda too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and attach all my screeds. And when I get to the stage of the paper wire, it's going to be the typical tie-in, 17 gauge wire, two layers of paper going over this uh, great spike. Hole. So when I get to that stage, we'll show you. Okay guys, another day here, so I'm trying to remember where we stopped. What we had here was, of course we're doing this lead flashing roof. We had our paper come up here, but I, I had to pull some of the uh, stucco off here in order to get my stucco under. But what we found was, I already knew this was a bad joint. They saw cut it right here. They saw cut it and they butted their paper to the saw cut, which is why this wall leaked. So I instructed them, if it were me, tear the whole thing off. And when they did, under here was all rotten. So you can just grab the wood and just yank it out. And there was a lot of rot down here. So that was the result of that. And so I said, well, now me coming in, you have to do it proper. Otherwise, now I'm responsible for this. Uh, the guys who did this 10, 15 years ago. So this is the right way to do it. They fixed all the uh, shear wall. They made in Jose, excellent carpenter. Um, so now we're just finishing up. We're buttoning up what we started. And I'm putting a corner here. And there you have it. I'm, I'm just stapling off everything here. I'm gonna put my two corners and we're ready to go. And as far as that wood rot, we have to break out in order to get a good tie in. And sometimes we break out the existing stucco and find things like that where it has to be addressed and corrected and fixed. Otherwise, it makes us look bad and it does continue to leak. So that's what that's all about. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, Jay, for doing the video. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.